Okay, I'm sure you've seen those hate comments on the internet where people just tear each other apart. Well, in this video, I'm going to react to some of the meanest comments I could find and give my gentle opinion on them. Because when you combine Israel and hate comments, it's... Yeah, Hassan Abdullah says, Hanania, we will F you. We are coming for you soon. Remember this, I would love to personally slit your throat. Ooh, ouch. Hassan, why, why you do me like that, bro? But on that, like what, you mean here, here, from the back? Just let me know so we have a, you know, lay some ground rules and have an understanding between us. But uh, yeah, these people are the kind of people that I'm dealing with on, on, a, on a daily basis. Um, they are very powerful behind the keyboard, but when you meet them in real life, uh, first of all, they would not want to meet in real life, but um, they're just typing all the time. He says, I've never met with this much pro propaganda in my life. Uh, <laughs> now, he, and he added heart and Palestinian flag. I suppose you're talking about Palestinian propaganda, right? Because they are uh, doing really good with it. It's called Pallywood. And they just claim that this is what's happening. This is what Israel is doing to them. Uh, just look at these photos. This is Pallywood. This is propaganda. And yes, I've never met with this much propaganda in my life. Agreed. Um, Sherif Fahekri is saying you should cry. <laughs> uh, let's move on. So we have a comment from Omar Alfair863 that says Israel deserve every bad thing coming for them. Thank you, Prof Professor Omar, I guess. Uh, seems like he knows better than everyone. Uh, Israel is a blessing to over 100,000 Palestinians, providing jobs. Israel made peace with four Arab countries and we're about to make more peace agreements. So um, we deserve bad for good. Yeah, that's pretty much the mindset of our haters. They just don't think. Okay, so Bahat Muteib says, I think you guys are craving for another Holocaust. You know, you would think that for, to make this video, I would need to research and find really mean comments. I am getting these comments on a daily basis. People wish death for me, for my family, for the entire Jewish nation. But when I expose the Palestinian propaganda, when I post the truth about Israel, I have to walk on eggshells so that my video won't get deleted or restricted. But these comments, they exist and no one is doing anything. And that really frustrates me. Uh, let's just move on to the next comment. Uh, Maestro Delta says, what is Israel? Well, first of all, this is where Israel is. For your information, if you have skipped some geography classes, um, but let me talk in your language. This is Israel. Why? Because it has Israeli technology. The face ID technology is Israeli. The disk on key that you're using is Israeli. All the latest technology that is out there has an Israel fingerprint. So if you don't know what Israel is, you're probably living in a cave. Let's, let's just move on to the next comment. This dude is saying, God damn, this traitor who allowed you to enter our Arabian countries, all love and support to Palestine. <laughs> uh, let me just give you context. He's basically commenting on my video where I visited the UAE, Dubai, and just vlogged and had fun there. Um, so he's, he's not happy that I'm visiting Arab countries. What's your name? I'm having a hard time pronouncing it. I can't read Arabic, but I would love to read your comment about wh what are your thoughts about Iran wanting to dominate the UAE, Saudi Arabia, uh, and the entire world. Let's see what do you have to say about that and um, get back to us. Adam Bob is saying, man, what kind of drugs are you on? <laughs> now I saw it and I immediately commented water because you know, water is the best drug. Keeps you healthy, keeps you running, gives you energy to annoy these haters a lot more. So um, staying on water. We've got Zaki L saying, you need to have a land first to claim the right for existence. <laughs> now, you know what? It's funny that he's mocking our right to exist in our ancestral homeland. Uh, first of all, read some history books, man. King David made Jerusalem, he's the capital of his kingdom in around the year 1000 BC, long before the idea of Palestine even existed. We, we've had the 12 tribes of Israel that existed in our homeland. Uh, here's a map of them, by the way, from around the year 
1200 BC. Uh, we have been here. We're not going anywhere. And actually, the, the whole name Palestine, you know, the Palestinians took this name from the Philistines that we read about in the Bible because they want to be considered as an ancient nation uh, that derives from the Philistines. Actually, the name Philistine means invader. Why? Because the Philistines that we read about in the Bible, they came from supposedly Greek or Cyprus islands into the land. They were most, most certainly not speaking Arabic uh, and not certainly the modern day Palestinians. So, uh, sorry for roasting you, but yeah, the truth is that Jews come from Judea. Judea is ancient Israel, okay? We've got Ben Jones saying, makes a nice change from stealing Palestinian water, I suppose. <laughs> Now, let me give you some context. He wrote that on the short that I posted of me drinking water that Israel made from thin air. Israel has this, this technology, a company called Watergen that helps countries in Africa, people that don't have access to clean water. So basically, um, I've tried that. Now, again, it's funny. They use every good thing that Israel does to make it negative. Oh, so at least you're not stealing Palestinian water. Actually, Israel is providing water to the Palestinians. These water pipes are delivering water, Israeli water, to Palestinians. So stealing from the Palestinians, we're the providers, mate. We're not stealing anything. Puriya Tabari, he or she wrote, uh, dude, you're delusional. <sighs> Rose, I'm roasted. I'm Rose, I, I don't know what to say to that. Uh, lastly, we've got uh, this comment, someone says, you can get free gas at Auschwitz. Making fun from the massacre of 6 million Jews. And it happened less than a century ago, but not only 6 million Jews. During World War II, a lot of people were massacred in the hands of the Nazis. And he's just mocking the Jewish people. Um, you know, it, it really saddens me when, when I see that because it means that people don't realize that anti-Semitism is alive and number two, that it is dangerous because people don't realize how deadly this, this is because the Holocaust, the death camps, they didn't start with the gas chambers, okay? They started with words of hate, exactly what we are seeing here. Um, and if anything, I want you to be encouraged to fight this. When you see anti-Semitism online, fight it. Don't be silent, don't be indifferent. So to all the haters of Israel, my haters, thank you. You are giving me more drive and fuel to continue making new videos about the truth in Israel. Because when I get hate for it, it means that I'm reaching exactly the audience that I would want to watch these videos. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe.